Published at the age of 10, the prodigious young author who's turned her favourite hobby into a successful novel. spend years of their adult lives struggling to get their first book into print. But one Kent author has managed to get a book published at the tender age of 10 years old. Scarlett Taylor, who's an avid horse rider, has managed to turn her hobby into a novel. And her literary debut is selling well, so much so that her publishers have already ordered a new print run. Bhavani Vadi has been to meet her. Wow, our four, first competition in four months, screamed Amy. Ten-year-old Scarlett Taylor is mad about ponies, so it's no surprise that she's reading a story all about them. Sophie got to chase that mare named Tilly. What is unusual, though, is she wrote the book herself. Mike got a brown thoroughbred named Coco, and Tom got a Palomino named Stardust. I started horse riding last year, and I kind of just like writing stories in the description, so I decided to just write one about ponies. Scarlett caught the bug for horse riding at a squirrel riding school in Bluebell Hill and it seems she's taken inspiration from this real life setting. Yeah, she put it all into a book. I think there's a couple of ponies names in there that we recognise, so I don't know if they're based on our ponies or not, but it's nice to read them. I've <laughs> been selling them in the shop for her as well, just so that they're up for sale in our shop if anyone wants to buy them. 60 copies of Punky Ponies have been sold on Amazon just a few weeks after the title was released. The story is all about what happens when a group of troublemakers, or hoodies, are sent to a riding school to learn some discipline. We've never taken one when we were so young, ever. Um, it just jumped out. Everybody in the office read it. It was just so unusual. She writes with such, I don't know, verve and vigour, and I think kids would have loved it, so we decided that we'd take it on. Scarlett's got a busy summer ahead, combining her two passions of riding and writing. Her second book is in the pipeline, and she'll be taking part in a number of riding competitions. Uh, We're all townies, and it's a country girl. Are you going to buy her a horse as a reward? Well, um, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. See how the book sales go. <laughs> and with the story available as an e-book from next week, Scarlett's hoping for plenty of downloads to help buy her own pony. Bhavani Vadi. BBC South East Today, Bluebell Hill.